Hey everyone, uh, in this episode I'm going to be uh, discovering P versus puts. So, you know, puts is a very popular uh, method call in Ruby and, you know, we use it to output, to debug, to do all kinds of things. And P is a less well-known uh, way to output something. And to, in this episode right here, I'm going to be very quickly discuss what's the difference between the two. So I'm going to show you guys right here. Uh, for example, let's say I want to try to put out the number one. So here I'm going to do puts one and then puts one. Uh, I'm going to run these, this code and see what happens. So I'm going to do P VS puts. All right, let's run it. So now we get one and one. But what happens if we try P one and then P uh, string one? So I'm going to save that and try and run that. So you can see that P actually tells us that, you know, this is a string. So the difference between P and puts is that puts uh, runs everything into, converts everything into a string before it outputs it to the console, into what uh, the terminal. And P does not. So, you know, P, with P, you can differentiate the data type from, you know, whatever you're putting into P. So like if you put in an integer, it'll output something like this. If you put in a string, it'll tell you exactly what it is. So uh, it's a much more handy way to debug something. Let's, let's try another example. So if I do puts dog cat, let's see what happens. So now if I uh, do P, dog, cat. So you see that it actually preserve the data type. It does not convert everything into a string and then output it. Like in this case, you know, we get dog and cat, but we don't know that dog and cat actually came out from an array. So uh, yeah, P, if you're doing debugging, uh, P is the preferred way to actually do it. It's a less known, uh, you know, method, but now you know. So like, share, and subscribe if you found this video useful. Uh, also become a member on our site to get uh, access to members' exclusive videos. Uh, and with that, I want to wrap up this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.